324 A's baby. She's been doing a lot of laying around. I haven't personally seen her up much other than the day she was born. Caught her eating this morning. I wasn't quick enough. Back to it though. And I don't know who that little bugger is there, but I heard him crying when I came out. Confucius say, don't roll yourself under the gate into the pen that no one's in. You'll be lonely. Oh, well, I gotta climb in there and open a gate and let the little turd back out. This might be his mother. I don't know. Then again, might not even be related to the little bugger. But he's still whining. He's looking over at the yearlings, though. Maybe he's jealous. Because there's more girls than boys over there instead of more boys than girls like there is where he's at. If you don't count their mothers, that is. Oh, well. Hey, it's a Monday. 28 degrees. Yay. And probably going to rain later. Gotta love it. Yep, yep. Fun goof off day. Get this pump cleaned up because it's been set for so many years. Put her new nut on. Uh, we used a half inch socket on a 3 8 bolt that was in there. It was almost completely gone at one end. Why use a stainless shaft and then put a mild steel nut on? I don't understand that. I'm hoping that one holds up. That's actually a brass nut coated. You know. Anyway. Oh, and Becky decided she'd come in and clean some stuff up over here today. So, in the meantime, everything she was supposed to have already cleaned up <laughs> looks like that. Especially when half the stuff I've been after this morning has been behind all that, underneath the shelf. Um, spent half the morning looking for some parts, supplies, that kind of stuff. Because I need more wire than what we got, and I want to try to color code everything. Narrow-minded, I know. And, you know, what I got here, that's all stuff that came off that cab. So, trying to figure that out. Just got that ordered. It'll be here, I think she said the 10th. Yeah. Most of it. A bunch of colored wire and some wire loom. Part of the loom won't be here until sometime after that, but everything should be here the tenth. Usually get that stuff at Napa, but God, you know, the last hundred foot roll of fourteen gauge wire I got. <laughs> yeah, for the same price as that hundred foot roll, I'm getting three hundred feet of fourteen gauge with different colors. Hopefully, get a little something going here. I still got to figure out an electric fan. There's so many freaking choices of those things. That's just about unreal. So, you know, I've looked, I've looked, I've looked. And you don't really know what's going to fit for sure because they just give you the diameter of the fan, not the diameter of the housing. And we did have lights on the old machine. They were in the frame. There really isn't a place out here to put anything. So they might be off the side of the frame. I don't know. I got a couple of four-inch round LED stop turntails that have been laying around for a while. I just got to check, make sure they do actually still work. And still got to get something for the front. Because the way this cab's made, there's really nowhere up there for it. I mean, better with it up there, but there really isn't any place. Although I was thinking for the front flashing lights, they may end up up above. Might be a really good idea. 
I can come off of those brackets. Mm -hmm. Do something, maybe. We'll see. Of course, trying to use the factory flashers, so maybe they won't get any brake lights. I don't know. Or I'll have to get another couple of them. Because the John Deere flasher unit is not made for brake lights. Just made for turn signal and flasher. Then I just thought about it. There's no on off switch that is just the turn signal. So I still got to put a switch in just for the flashers to begin with. One more thing. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Well, now we got a mess for you. Two pump store parts in here. Yeah, number one, clean that one up pretty good. Just clean this one up too, but. I got to looking. I just don't like the looks of that. That's going to definitely affect how it pumps. If we were just pumping water and really didn't give a damn about stuff, it'd be one thing. But I think that's going to be issues. So this one here is actually one that came off of an old fire trailer years ago that probably been five years ago now, I guess. Um, the pump that was on our sprayer, the old buggy, the seal and the bearings went out after, you know, damn near 40 years. And so didn't have... Time to run the town to get anything. It was going to start raining. We had to get done. Being smart enough to think on my feet once in a while. A uh, guy that was running sprayer for me, he calls and says, um, I got a problem. I'm pouring all over the place. You know, hey, you know me. My answer, oh, shit. So he shuts the valves off all around the pump so it can't, can't leak the tank out. I said, get your ass to the shop. So he brings it back in. Time he got here, all I knew was it was pouring out of the pump. I didn't know if the pump housing was broken, bearings out, seal out, whatever. So I got this one off the base it was on. It was on with a six-horse engine for filling tanks. And we literally, in a matter of about 10 minutes, had it swapped out and had him going. So this is a good pump. She's getting a little ugly there. That's going to clean up. Keep in mind, it's been sitting like two years because the other buggy wasn't going to get around in the field anymore. So we're going to clean it up. Put it on that one. They're different colored pumps, and I don't know why. This one was gray. Worked fine for spray for us. Worked fine before that. So had Vicon seals in it. I mean, that's what sprayer pumps have in them, so same freaking pump. We're going to use that other housing, and we'll put this one together with this pitted housing. So like I say, it'll still pump water. It don't matter. And uh, that saves having to try to get the other plugs out of that one to clean it up. The one for the drain, it's going to be interesting. It's going to take some sealer to get a drain valve to seal into it. I may dink with that right now. Been doing dinking things. Ordered all that stuff that I should have ordered a week ago, so I had it now. So all my stuff over there on top of number two's toolbox, I really can't do much with at the moment because I want to go ahead and get loom on everything as it goes together. The other thing I got to do is I still got to get that yellow thing off the top because right now the wires back here, they go up for the AC and the heat, but I got nothing else going up there. And I had two of those lights left. That's what's on the service truck. And on the back of the 3394, that's all I had left was the two. Becky just ordered another box of them. So those are mounted. And the wiring will go right up into the cab, right in the corner. There's a drain hole, just perfect, right above them. I uh, found some lights from the back. I don't have anything for the front yet for flashers. And 
got to start figuring out where we're going to actually mount lights. Pretty sure I'm going to want a couple of those up on top. So that's probably what the old mirror brackets are going to end up. They'll end up being light brackets up there instead, I guess. Because definitely one on each corner there. and Maybe we'll make a cyclops out of it put one up here on the front too and i had thought about something off the corner of the base of the cab but we got to clear the booms i mean we could even end up with something mounted off the fenders i don't know somewhere to illuminate over in here not that we do much at night but i'm going to put more stuff into it and at some point maybe do the gps stuff on it other than for a flow control you know i mean we're still going to run foam pretty much everybody here that does have gps does still run foam simply because in the hills the gps is always off and if you're dropping foam you can still look and see how close you are take a guess on it so that's today Just another day, not much to show, other than I got the ladder back over here because I needed to get up there. And I still gotta, I may do that, go up and pull the bolts out of the top of the cab, see what I gotta do to open it up. See how many bees fly out at me. We haven't had any flying around the shop for a few days. Maybe they already all hatched. And I don't know, Ron's supposed to be out tomorrow. If I can get enough stuff done, I kind of like to get a bunch of stuff done in this area before we put the booms on. Because after the booms are on, they're going to be in the way. But after they're on, we can also raise them all the way up and tie them up. I don't know. We'll see. I may even end up, for normal, they may have a, a high spot for hanging them. We'll see. But for now, that's what we got. Hey, I'm going to do some more dinking with some wiring, probably. Or at least some light mounts, that kind of thing. It's all got to get done at some point. Right, wrong, or indifferent. And still got to figure out where to mount some things in the cab. Especially the monitor, but that's all still upstairs in a box. Monitor and the valves. I'm Toying with the idea of putting the valving on the back of the boom frame. That's how a lot of the commercial stuff used to be. I don't know if it still is or not. You got a lot less hoses running forward. Instead of having five hoses running forward, you got one running backward. Don't have to worry about it. So, three for the end. It's dirty up here. You know what that is, right? little rodents been up here but not for a while there's no smell to it it's all dry just got to clean it up might have to get a taller ladder because i'm barely tall enough to reach what you need to I'm stand on the very top of that one so somewhere we have one and a quickie i put both pumps back together swap parts around they'll work one way or the other uh, I did not change the O-ring, so my bad. But there's anaerobic sealer in there. That's not RTV. I like to use that on stuff like this because you get it between these two pieces. Nothing should have squished to the inside. And it'll keep those from getting rusted together because that happens. O-ring seal on the inside, but moisture, excuse me, moisture gets on the outside. And you can't get things apart. Got that kind of tied up for the moment. I didn't want that old hose to uh, take a set the wrong way. Take the heat gun and warm it up so it'll bend. Get it where I want it, hopefully, and go from there. But that's for tomorrow, because I'm going to go feed and go in. So thank you for watching.